this for everybody else. Good. Um, let me see one thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen. First off, I'm Brent Neighbors. I'm going to be your instructor for this. It's a fairly quick class. It's a nine-week class. Um, you're going to be pretty much uh, doing a lot uh, over nine weeks, but I'm willing to work with you. It's an IS-15. It's going to go hopefully for business and whatever you're wanting to do. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to share my screen so that we can go over some of this stuff. And let me get it going right now. Hold on, share screen. We're going to share this share. Um, all right, hopefully you can see my screen right here. This is the IS-15 interface. Um, at any time, if you have questions throughout this recording, you can unmute yourself and just ask me the question. Um, I'm not monitoring the chat, so we can go from there. Everything, let's start with a syllabus. You've got your remind instructions right here. And if you just click on them, it shows you. If you type in, I would type in, in your text, 81010, and then put the message to at IS15-9 weeks and you'll receive any, any information that I have for you, and you can reply back to them. Um, when you reply back, uh, only you and I will get the reply. I send out to everybody, but you'll get the reply. So I'm going to close right there. Uh, okay. Uh, we have a syllabus, and that's probably one of the most important things. I'm going to open it in there. And y'all can still see this, I'm hoping, if it's not, somebody still tell me. Um, this is the section 81809. There's some information, uh, some information about access, which we'll get to later. Um, if you just have a Mac, it's totally fine. We'll figure out a way to get it done. We have a, uh, we give you Microsoft Office for free. However, um, even on a Mac, it gets free, but the problem is Mac software does not include the access and we'll go to, we'll figure out a way around that as well. Uh, my office is on the Herndon campus if you ever need to get and reach me. All right. Um, I'm not on the main campus. I was for many years. I have moved about six years ago to the Herndon campus, which is across from the Nissan dealer um, and the Dodge next to the Dodge dealer. Um, I'm located in room 109. And I'll talk to you about my office hours. Uh, I am on the main campus on Mondays and Wednesdays from one o'clock to about, I'd say from one o'clock to about 2.50, three o'clock in room AC 140, uh, AC 1, 145. Um, textbooks. All you do is click right here. And you get the one by Brent Neighbors for this section, which is, I had it listed up there earlier. It's right here, 81809. Easiest way to do it. It's a hundred, it's $107, okay, and 75 cents. I think there might be, that, that, I don't know if that's after taxes or not, but that's a pretty good deal because there are two pieces of software in there. Every semester I have people that just buy it on their own. And I think it's like $200, $185 hundred for one. And they think they've got it set. And then later on they go, I don't have SimNet or I don't have Connect. They want me to buy it again. Oh yeah, that's gonna be another $150, $160. So save yourself some time, just buy it from the Clovis bookstore. You can go online, buy it online. They might even send you the codes and you can pick it up at the place, but they'll send you your codes to your district email. So if you're like Yahoo, cool dude at yahoo.com, they're not going to send it there. They're going to send it to your district email account. Any questions so far on textbook? That's always a biggie. People get the wrong textbook. Don't do it. All right. Um, again, we talked about Remind. If you need to get a hold of me, uh, just send a message in Remind. It's real easy to do. 
It only goes to me. We're set. If you call my cell phone, that's totally good between uh, Monday through Friday, between 10 and 3. But if I don't answer it, just send me a text to, to in remind or go into Canvas and send me an email. Um, a lot of times I have students, I think this is okay. Um, they send me an email and usually I answer it within 24 hours in Canvas. And if I don't get back to you, either something happened or I didn't get it. Get on my cell phone and say, Mr. Neighbors, I sent you an email in Canvas. Could you check it out real quick after, you know, after a fair amount of time? That helps me to go in there and look at it. If you send me the e the text at 10 o'clock at night, I'm not going to do it till in the morning. So don't stress yourself out. Um, that's my district. That's my, that's a cell number, okay, that you can send to. These are both cell numbers. I'd rather have you do remind. Excuse me. Okay, purchase your textbooks. We're going to be covering two things, office products, and we're also going to be covering um, a book, a digital book site, which is kind of hardware, software, and stuff like that. Uh, this is the only meeting you're going to have, unless you want a face-to-face -face in my office, and I'll show you office hours just a second, or you just want to do a chat. I have all my lectures recorded. Um, we have SimNet. And we have connect and that's where you'll spend most of your time this is a process on communication what to do examples tech support line everybody says there's a problem when they get to word oh the computer's not working it's not this it's not me i haven't seen a situation where i've been teaching with these software for a long time it tends to be students or user error or are they missing misinterpreted some instructions okay and there we go. My office hours. I'm on the main campus. No office hours, Monday, Wednesday, because I'm on the main campus and it shows you my room. Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, I'm live in the classroom. I mean, I'm live in the office, sorry, on Herndon, three o'clock to 4.50. On Thursdays, it's my online office hours. I'm not in a building. Fridays, I'm on Herndon, 11.30 to 12.45, okay? Uh, anybody have any questions about let me, let me see that. anybody have a long text about uh are you, sorry anybody have any questions about office hours okay i'm usually fairly easy to get a hold of attendance it's not that situation for an online class um, how to get free microsoft office directions right here follow the steps i also will send out videos if you don't have it or have it and you want to upgrade it do it it's worth it it's free okay um and you get it through the district it's through your district email this is your district email right here and up in the corner there's these little button little dots you click on it let it load and then go out to the side you'll see an office and you go to other loads and follow the directions okay um how to check your version of of office if you open up microsoft office and go to a uh, file you can come in here and you can go to account and you can see if you have everything loaded right there. It shows you what products you have before even opening them. Um, I'm scrolling down. It's your problem. I, if you didn't do the discussion question or the uh, syllabus quiz by today, but I'm giving some people a lot of time. I'm giving some flex um, by, by Friday because I still have people I'm adding, but almost everybody in this class right now, except for three students have uh, completed it. So I'm not too concerned with that. Have problem with your computer. I'm not very um, sympathetic with that. Uh, you just right now have a whole bunch of computers lined up. They're, the library at Clovis Community College has uh, computers that you can check out. You can go into the open labs at Clovis Community College. I know sometimes you can't make it. You can use your mother, your father's, your uncle, your aunt's, your, your wife, your husband's computer if yours breaks down. Okay, we can get this done. I know we can. Um, if you have a network problem, I get it. It's raining. I'm out here in the country and I have a river in my backyard. I actually literally do. I have five acres and I'm on the side of the Red Bank and it is running. Um, I haven't had a network problem, but I have had power outage, and I understand that. So if you get a power outage and your internet's down or your power's out, take your laptop, put it in the car, go to McDonald's, free Wi-Fi. 
go to um, Starbucks. If you really want to live life crazy, most of the mad ducks have free Wi-Fi anyhow. Just go in there, have a good sandwich, and get your stuff done, okay? So it's kind of your responsibility to think out your plan, your problem. Uh, your emergency on those situations, uh, you got to have it planned in advance. It's not going to be a, a kick down the road where I say, okay, yeah, you can make that up. I don't hardly ever do makeups. But we can talk about it as we go. Um, online contact, we're going to be fine. Here's what's going to happen. You already did the syllabus exam, hopefully. You're going to have a in SimNet. SimNet handles all the Microsoft products. That's the software that will take most of our testing and stuff in for this. You're going to have one training. Always want you to do the training first. And then you're going to have four, four projects. And I, I'll set that up. And you notice in Canvas calendar, the deadlines are already there, the due dates. Um, you can take these as many times as you want up to the due, due date, OK? So if you do it once, don't do well, do it again, do it again, do it again. Up to seven times, I take the highest score because I want you to know this stuff. It's, it's kind of live in the application, not the training, but these projects are live in the application. And then you upload a completed document and it gives you directions. We'll get to there when it's time. I'll show you, I'll send out videos. So there we go. I think that's 70 some odd points, okay? Um, then you're gonna have also in Connect, a picture here, you're gonna have these chapter tests and a midterm and final. The 25, the chapter two, eight, and five. Then you're gonna have a midterm covering two, eight, and five. Then we're gonna go to chapter six, seven, and four. And we're gonna have our final only over six, seven, and four, and you're out. You notice they're bigger points. Okay, um, one, uh, we'll talk about this as we go. We'll have some discussions. So for your projects and your training, that's your points possible. For your Connect and your Learn Smart, which are activities inside of Connect, it's kind of like training for the, for, the, uh, for the assignment, for the reading side. And I'm gonna show it here in just a second. Um, those are 90 points total for all of them, okay? Midterm final, 200, your reflections. And also it's classes worth 840 or 890 points. I already give you one point for every grade. So my A's go down to 89, my B's go down to 79, my C's go down to 69, my D's go down to 59. So don't beg at the end, go, oh, Mr. Neighbors, I'm just a point short. No, I already gave you a point. So you're asking for two points and I'm not gonna do that, okay? Um, there, that's my syllabus, which you guys already took tests on. Before I move on, any questions on the syllabus? That's awesome. You guys all, if you ever see me out with my wife, you tell her I can articulate and I make everything very clear because she's like, nobody understands you, you speak too fast. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go back into um, Sim. We're going to go back into Connect and SimNet. We live in the calendar. Our grades, modules are right here. Every day is going to be broken out. Right now, you can only see to the first week. Everything that you need to do, March 13th to the March 22nd. Okay. Um, I am going to leave as a student view. I'm going to show you the big teacher view. Um, discussions are here, quizzes. I'm going to go into connect. So once you get your codes, you're going to get to the bookstore that you're just going to ask the lady behind the desk or the man behind the desk. Can I get the codes for Mr. Neighbor's class? Tell them the class number, or they'll send it to you on the two if you're doing it online. And they'll hand you two pieces of paper put together back to back in like a little wrapping paper. All it is is like a lottery ticket scratch off for two books. You open up, and there's two of them in there. Do not use one and throw the other one away because that has codes as well for the other one. So when I go in, I'm going to show you what it looks like 
on your side, student view. Here we go. Here's what it looks like. I have chapter two. This is your interface. I have a smart book and I have chapter two. So I go to smart book and I go begin. And this is what it loads. It technically is going to load your textbook for that chapter. So when I say just start, you can either start reading, which you're going to have to answer the questions anyhow. So what I would say is answer the questions and I'll show you how you can read at the same time. So I'm just, this is 59 minutes. As long as you want, you can stop and start it. It's not a test. It's just kind of like homework. So you can do it for 10 minutes, stop it, come back out. So I'm going to start the questions. I got it. Web 5.0 is called the blank. Wow. Let's read about it. So I go right here. I'm going to read about it. Oh, look it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. I read it. Okay. It'll even read to you if you click right here. Okay. So I go back to the question. Got it. Uh, also called, uh, I don't, I'm just going to say something like that. I'm guessing. How confident am I? Low. I missed it. It's okay. We're going to go back. And it's going to show you what to do. So as I go through here, that's the correct answer. So I go, next question. In order to uh, software internet provider to connect, I need an ISP. I know that. I'm very confident. This is good. Hey, I got it right. Next, if I want to read, I can always go back and read. But remember, you have to answer these questions. There's 33 of them. You can see it right up here at the top. Okay, so I keep going through this. I'm, you know, I'm not sure about this. Oh, look it. I can scroll through the whole entire textbook. It's a digital textbook. I'm going to go back. All I know is when I was in high school and college, I, you know, if I had to read, I, you know, all of a sudden I've got my face in the book and I'm drooling because I fell asleep. This hopefully is going to be an interactive for you to get it done. This is on every chapter we have these learn smart these smart books. Okay? So every one of these has a smart book. Do not do not do not do not do not take the quiz until you complete the smart book. Okay? Um those are usually true and false multiple guess and sometimes some matching. Okay? Um so I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go back into here. And then we have a thing called SimNet. And this is where we go live in the application. If it ever comes up here, let's see. It's waiting. It might not come up because I'm blasting the network. There we go. I'm going to go in as a student view. Here we go. This is what it looks like for you. Make sure I have the right. Oh, I do. Okay, good. Um, you can look at it in list form or in tiles. These are, these are all the applications we're going to go over. I, I put them up for you already. Some people look at this like, what is that? You just click on the tile to open up. So let's go into Microsoft Word. If you want it in a list, you can. These are all the projects we're going to have to do. Okay. And the training will be in there as well. I just haven't shuffled it in there yet. Okay. You'll have a training before you take this and it'll help you uh, learn kind of what I'm asking you to do. So this is SimNet that has all the applications. Let me go back out. It has all the applications. Let me see if I can go one back out. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, it has all of them in there, all that we're going to do. So again, we have two softwares, SimNet and Connect. We will use these every day, well, not every day, every week, we'll use them. Now, here's the fun part. If you go into modules, you don't see this yet, but I do. I have chapter lectures already done for you. It's right under there, lectures and handouts. So if I click on right here, I say, first off, I give you notes for free. These are my notes. And they align with my lecture if this ever loads here real quick. Come on, come on, come on. It's coming. I have five children and they're all over the internet probably right now. And a couple of grandkids. 
Um, here we go. See, I this is corresponds with my lecture, and I leave blank spaces so you don't have to write the whole notes, but you can fill them in. Do you ever turn these in? No, this is for you. Okay, um, can you use them on the test? Yes. I mean, I couldn't tell if you didn't. So for the book, this corresponds with the connect. Here's my lecture. And it's going to spin, 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 spin. And you're going to see once it comes up, if it doesn't, you can always hit F5. This is going to be a little bit of a push, but it's coming. There we go. So I hit play. Chapter two. I'm going to turn the sound off. And I go through here, you see, I go through there, there are animation, there's a lot of stuff that's on here. And you can be taking off my note sheets, there's words that you can put on there that I left blank. This is where those blank words come from. And then every once in a while, I'll ask some questions. These are not a quiz. That's in Connect. These are just extra helps. I'd say it's a physical network. Yay! And I just click, and I can move to the next question. I have a lot of times students say, hey, Mr. Neverson, I'm really struggling. I'm not really doing well on the quiz. I said, did you watch some of my lecture? Did you look at my notes? And it gets real quiet. And then they go, yeah, yeah, I did. I said, inside my lectures, I have quiz questions. How are you doing on those? Quiz questions? I said, they're practice quiz questions inside my notes. How are you doing on them? Well, maybe I got to look again. Because these will help you. They're not the quiz questions but they're very similar to them as well, okay? So this is my class. This is what we're gonna do. If you live in the calendar, right here in the calendar, if it ever comes up, let me turn off my other classes. Uh, if you live, if you're in my class, everything's listed. I mean, we're, I mean, we're rolling, I get it, we're rolling but this is a nine week class. Everything is always due on Wednesday nights at 1159 because everybody else wants to do it on a Sunday night when you want to have fun or somebody wants to be doing something else. That way I'm around. Well, not at night, but the next day I walk into my office on Thursday. And if you have had a question, I can answer it. I understand this is a quick class and you're going over and over. There will be some areas that I'm going to give some lenience on because I, I usually don't for an 18 week class. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what they are right now. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop screen sharing here. Hold on, let me go wide. And we're going to go here, and I'm going to get out. Let's see. Oh, stop. And I'm also probably going to stop recording. Just because I don't think you need your faces 